Hi boys and girls and welcome to the show. I'm Doreen and in the next few minutes, we are going to explore the wonderful world of the English language on Grounded in Grammar. Today, we are going to look at a class of words that we call the Articles. articles. Well, they are small words that do a big job and they are so important that we use them in almost every sentence that we speak or write. Let's get to know them better. A, er, and and the are articles. A er, and and are indefinite articles and the is the definite article. So here's what we are going to do today. We are going to look at the indefinite articles er and and in this program. And to help us understand the use of er and and better, let's welcome Florence. Hi Florence. Hi Doreen. Nice to have you here. Great to be here. Okay boys and girls, I'll hand you over to your grammar teacher, Miss Florence. Thank you Doreen. Hello again, I'm Florence and I'm your grammar teacher. Today we're going to learn about the indefinite articles er and an. Er and an are used with singular countable nouns. Ah, I can hear you saying, what's a singular countable noun? Well, a singular countable noun simply means one thing that can be counted. For example, a boy, a car, a girl, an umbrella, an orange, an apple. I'm sure you know what a noun is. It's a name that we give to a person or a thing. Some nouns like boy, car, girl, can be counted. We can count one boy, one car, one girl, and so on. We also saw one umbrella, a single umbrella. So umbrella is also a singular countable noun, which is one in number and can be counted. Here now is a short sketch to help you understand the singular countable noun. Hey Amiro, how are you? Hi Jason, I'm fine. How are you? No, I'm doing good. Well, actually, my dad just came back from a trip to Papua New Guinea. Really? And he brought back some bananas. So, I was wondering if you would like to try some. Can I have a banana? Yeah, sure. Hey, wait. I thought you said you wanted a banana. You're taking two. Okay, I'll have a banana then. Sure. Can I have banana too? Uh, I think I should go. Remember, er and an are used with singular countable nouns. That is one particular thing that can be counted. You must never use er and an for things that are more than one in number. We have learnt that er and an are used before singular countable nouns. Now, when do we use er and when do we use an? Well, er is used before consonants and an is used before vowels. Now, let me explain further. The letters A, E, I, O and U 
are called vowels. All the other letters of the English alphabet are called consonants. There are 21 consonants in all. These nouns begin with a vowel and are spoken with a vowel sound. Ulcer, umbrella, uncle. So, we use the indefinite article an before them. An ulcer, an umbrella, an uncle. These nouns begin with a vowel, but are spoken with a consonant sound. Uniform, university, European. So we cannot use the indefinite article an before them because they begin with consonant sounds. We use a er instead. A uniform, a university, a European. And why is this so? The reason is that we should not use an before a noun that begins with a vowel that has a Y sound. Notice that all three words begin with a Y sound. Uniform, university and European. So in cases like these, we use a er and not an. These nouns begin with a consonant and are spoken with a consonant sound. Hat, hospital, hunter. So we use the indefinite article a. Er. A hat, a hospital, a hunter. But these nouns begin with a consonant and are spoken with a vowel sound. Air, our, honor. Although these words begin with the consonant H, we do not use a uh before them because the H is silent. Listen to how I say them. Air, our, honor. See, I do not pronounce the H sound. I do not say hair or however. So the article that I would use with these words is an not a, er. an air, er, an hour, er, an honor. We also use a er or an when we speak or write about a person or thing for the first time. Let's see how our friends use it in a conversation. I forgot to tell you, Anusha has a new pet. It's an eagle. Really? I thought she had a kitten. Not anymore. The eagle swooped down and ate her kitten. And Anusha managed to catch the eagle, and now she's keeping it as a pet. Hmm. I wonder what Anusha would have done if it had been a tiger instead of an eagle. <laughs> yeah, I wonder that too. Anyway, see you. Bye. Bye. Strange girl, that Anusha. Anyway, Jason started the conversation in that short sketch and he introduced two new words, pet and eagle. He mentioned those words for the first time, so he used a er for pet and an for eagle. Then Amirul spoke and he mentioned the word kitten for the first time. He used a er to introduce the kitten, right? Let's see the sketch again. Pay attention to what Amirul said at the end of the conversation. I forgot to tell you, Anusha has a new pet. It's an eagle. Really? I thought she had a kitten. Not anymore. The eagle swooped down and ate her kitten. And Anusha managed to catch the eagle, and now she's keeping it as a pet. Hmm. I wonder what Anusha would have done if it had been a tiger instead of an eagle. <laughs> yeah, I wonder that too. Anyway, see you. Bye. Bye. Well, Amirul mentioned the name of another animal, didn't he? What was it? That's right, tiger. And what was the article he used before the word tiger? Er. He used the article er because that was the first time he mentioned the word tiger. So now we know one of the rules for using er and an. And the rule is? Use a er or an when you mention a person or thing for the first time.
I hope that wasn't too confusing. Now here's something else that you should know about the use of a uh and an. We can use a uh or an before adjectives. And before you scream and say, oh no, what's an adjective? Let me tell you what it is. An adjective is a word that tells us more about a person, animal, place, or thing. It is a describing word, actually. For example, To Jin is a happy boy. In this sentence, happy is an adjective. It gives us more information about the noun boy. It tells us that the boy is happy. We usually put the adjective before the noun. Now, since happy starts with the consonant H and the H is not silent, we put a uh before it. Here's another example. Pak Karim is an old man. The word old is the adjective in this sentence. It tells us more about the old man, Pak Karim. Old begins with the vowel O, so we put the article an before it. That's all I can tell you about the articles a uh and an. I hope it has been useful to you. Take care and remember that grammar is important because it will help you to speak and write correctly. Thank you for being a wonderful audience and have fun learning grammar. So thank you so much, Florence, for sharing that with us. You're most welcome, Doreen. See you. Bye. Hello again, everyone. Here's what I think. I think it's important to revise what we've just learned. Revision helps us to remember things better. And that's what we are going to do now. Go over the use of a er and n. And to help us do that, I've invited a few special guests. Let's welcome them. Hi guys and welcome to Grounded in Grammar. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Reen. Okay, I'm going to quiz you on what your grammar teacher has just taught you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, Jason. Take a look at the screen. Choose the sentence with the correct article. A. I found a starfish on the beach yesterday. B. I found an starfish on the beach yesterday. The answer is A. I found a starfish on the beach yesterday. That's right. The answer is A. But tell me, why didn't you choose sentence B, the one that used the indefinite article N? Well, starfish starts with a consonant S. And the rule is that we should use a uh with words that begin with the consonant sound. So it would have to be a uh starfish, not an starfish. Yes, you remember the rule. We use the article and with words that begin with the vowel A, E, I, O, U. Well done. Okay, your turn, Amiro. Can we put the article and before a word that begins with a vowel that has the Y sound? No, we can't. We have to use a. Uh. Can you give me an example? Sure. The word university. It starts with a Y sound. So I cannot say an university. I have to say a university. Okay, it's your turn, Nor. Take a look at the screen. Garnish bought a watch and a wallet yesterday. He paid 50 ringgit for the watch. Now, can you tell me why the indefinite article a uh, is used in the first sentence? Well, I guess we use a uh, because it is the first time the word watch is mentioned. That's right. We use the indefinite article a uh, or and before a noun that is mentioned for the first time and the if it's mentioned again after that. Okay, back to you, Kathy. Ready? Ready. Your question is, give me an adjective that begins with the silent H and the indefinite article that goes before it. Um, honest. 
and the indefinite article N should be put before it because the H that starts the word is silent. Right, perfect answer, Kathy. Well, that's it. End of questions. And don't forget to join me in the next episode of Grounded in Grammar. Bye!